So wages and salaries, then I'll delete it. Then the next um, income there is unclassified income. Okay, then the next income there is um, um, rent and other property income. So that is that. Then expenditure approach. On the expenditure approach, what are the different expenses? Consumption of expenditure on capital goods and government expenditure of, of consumption. Those are the expenditures. I've taken that. I did that before. And then the next one is um, private expenditure on goods and services. All right. After private expenditure on goods and services, the next one is um, subsidies. All right. The next one is subsidies. Subsidies. Then I must less indirect taxes. I must less indirect taxes. I will explain after. Less indirect taxes. Okay. So remember. Let me, so let me sum this, you remember, to get the national income. The total of it is this. Then remember, I will sum all of this, then I will subtract this because it's less that. So you can see that the national income using income approach, the national income using income approach is the same with the national income using expenditure approach. So let's now look at output approach. So output approach are these other ones, output from the final output, of course, from agriculture, fishing, forestry, transportation, ownership of building, building and civil engineering, that is also output. Minerals, that is output. Minerals, that is output. Other products, manufacturing, government properties, there are all what outputs. I will also still less what indirect what taxes. I will explain why you should less indirect taxes. So this is it. I also less what indirect taxes. So you will see what will be the total sum all of this. Minus indirect taxes. So let me check. I hope the figures are correct. Sixteen thirty plus point four, three fifty two. Twenty two point six, one sixty six point four, thirty point eight, one twenty three point six, then manufacturing forty four, subsidies. I didn't add subsidies. subsidies I must add subsidies because it's already produced I'm just reducing removing it from from the people 
Yeah. So you can now see that the national income using output approach, expenditure approach, and income approach are the same. So whether you use output approach, you use expenditure approach, your national income will always be what? The same. Why do I lessen direct tax under output? You know that indirect tax is a tax based on the value of goods and services produced. So it is already produced and it has been paid to the um, government as income. So it's more or less like taking out from the goods produced and pay to the government. But remember that it is the consumers that pay for it. It does not reflect the value of the goods. So it must be less, it, as you must less it. Then why do you less it under expenditure approach? Remember that the final price you are paying for is 100 Naira. And inside it is indirect tax, which is not attributed to based on the expenditures that will go to the, to the, to the private sector, to the, to the firms. The firms will withdraw that money straight to the government. So I must less it because that's why if, if you check, if you check, if you go to good supermarkets, when you buy all your goods finish, the list, they will tell you everything is 100,000. You will now see, they will write, you will be 100,000, they will tell you everything is, let me say, uh, um, 92,700, 90, 92, 7.5, 92,500. They will now see, see add indirect tax, 75, which is 7.5%, total 100,000. So you see that the total you are paying is 100,000, but actual payment for the goods is 92,5, 90, 93,5, sorry, 90, 92,5. While the 7,5, is indirect tax that goes to the government. So you must always less it, whether you are using expenditure approach or output approach. And that is the end of um, this particular lecture one. So please, I don't know if there are questions or I believe that when you um, watch this video again, you will be able to to understand better um, um, what we are actually dealing with when you watch the video again. And if you have subsequent questions, I will then be able to address it. All right, so let me take a um, few questions. So Marcel, what's your question, sir? Marcel, unmute yourself and ask your question. Marcel, unmute and ask your question. Hello, mute. Okay, hello, sir. Um, is it possible, I would like to understand subsidies, the way you explained indirect tax. Why did we add subsidies in both the expenditure approach and the output approach? We know that by the time we go for that, that should be year two. They will tell you about transfer payments. In okay. economics, we are not interested in the income received, but we are interested in the income end. Subsidies are income received, but not end. Income you just receive, or you do not work for it, or show free. So they are just transfer. You do not work for it, okay? And then you, yes, end, you end it, all right? So it is not like I see, yes, it's not like I see, you should actually, for example, now, all these petrol, petroleum producers will tell you that, that price of petrol, should be 500 naira, but government pays a subsidy where you are now paying 165. By the time you look at the, the um, um, output approach, if you calculate the total fuel produced and used in Nigeria, maybe everything is 100 million. That 100 million is not actually the output because government has paid subsidy on it. So you must add back that subsidy to get the picture of the actual output. 
that was produced in the economy. So that's why you always add subsidy back. Because when you take away subsidy, the value of the output is no longer up to that particular amount. Because mm. if you don't consider subsidy, we should be buying fuel 500 naira. But if you now consider subsidy, we are buying 165. But when I want to look at the actual output, which is the total liters of fuel, value of liters of fuel produced, you must add back the subsidy to get the actual value. I hope I've answered the question. Yes, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Um, Okama. Or come on mute and ask your question. Your network, your network is breaking. I'm sorry, your network is breaking. Maybe we'll type the question. Ola Kunle. Good afternoon, sir. Yes. I, I'm just requesting for the YouTube video. Don't worry, I'll send it to the class government. Okay. Kudus. Kudus, your question. Sir, my question is concerning um, the circular flow of income. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Concerning the circular flow of income, sir. You said um, household pay taxes to government, according to the chart, and government for understand what government purchase from spend. I what cannot exactly hear you. I cannot hear you, sir. Try to get close to your phone and then ask your question. Time. Get okay. a good network. Okay, now. Ask your question so I can hear I'm, you. I'm saying government purchase from FEM. What do they purchase from FEM? They purchase goods and services. They purchase goods and services. There are many goods produced by, by, by firms now that government yes. purchase. Unilag is part of government now. Government, Unilag, we purchase photocopy machine, A4 paper, we purchase marker, we purchase board, we want to build a new hostel, we purchase cement from Dangote. So government purchases goods and services from the firm. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Your question. Yes, yes, sir. Okay, straight to the point. Please, can you help me clarify? Please, value added and yeah. the same thing as how to approach that question. I cannot hear you, ma'am. Okay, my question is. Can you help me clarify if value added approach is the same thing as output approach? They are the same. They are the same. They are the same. Yes. Sheriff Aladi. Yeah. So you only made mention of the problem facing uh, the value added approach, but you never said about the income approach and the expenditure approach. What are the problems we're facing when we are using, I said this. Uh, I, when we are I, applying? I, I, sorry, income. sir, don't worry, don't worry. I said it, you did not listen. I said it that the expenditure approach is widely used. And the reason is because under income approach, people are discretionary in disclosing their income. People really do not want to disclose their income. If I ask you now, how much are you earning? You will tell me it's only 5,000 naira your mommy gives you a month. But meanwhile, you are doing forex trading. You are doing German German. You are doing ushering work. 
and you are making money and your account might be like 500k but you always tell me ah you see your world there's no money i'm not earning anything it's only the five thousand your your classmates will ask you borrow me money hey i don't have money at all it's just that five thousand my mommy gave me meanwhile you have money so people are discretionary in disclosing their all right Gifts. Hello, sir. Good afternoon. Hello, sir. Can you hear me? Just go straight to the point. I've already said no need of good afternoon. Just ask the question straight off, and I can hear you. Okay, I said I did not get the definition of circular flow of income. Okay, maybe when you listen to the video again, you get it. But circular flow of income talks about the transmission mechanism or shows the relationship between how goods and services are being produced, you know, from one end and transferred to the other end, who is the recipient, as well as how payments are made from one end, who is the payee, and is being received by another end, which is the recipient. So I, I believe when you listen to the video, you can pause it, play it over and over again, and then you will get it. Good news. I need to leave here in the next one minute. Oh, sorry. Um, where is good news? Let me. Yeah, you can ask your question. Good news. All right, sir. Um, earlier today, you said something about tax, that circular flow of income, about taxes. The taxes are the main um, the main resource of the government, right, sir? Yes, I said it. I said it. All right. Then why is it that some political aspirants do come to us and promise us that they will do this and do this and do this for us without telling us that everything they promise to do for us are from our taxes? Why do they just come aside? To promise us like it's coming up their own point. I'm not telling us that from our taxes. It's because why did they do that? It's, it's, it's very simple it's, because it's very simple because look, let me mute you. It's very simple because many Nigerians are gullible and Nigerians do not read. So Nigerians do not understand that they are the 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 people going out there for um okay, maybe I need to pause this. Let me stop this video.